Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and Miss Nixie Noo Noo. Noodle face. What are you doing, Nixie? Max. What are you doing, huh? Are you sleeping? Miss Noodle. She's in the sunshine. She's sleeping. Anyway, I hope this finds you guys all well, or as well as can be expected. Um, this is an uh, extra video. This is an outreach, or just a, um, an outreach, just kind of speaking my piece about this. There are so many of us out here that, uh, suffer from mental health, health issues, um, in a variety of different ways. I think each patient, each one of us is unique. But I want to title this Silent No More. I am tired of so many of us having to feel ashamed about having a mental health issue. Depression, anxiety, panic attack, PTSDs, bipolar, schizoaffective disorder, you know, uh, the list goes on and on. Um, why do we, we, I don't know why we let a minority of people make us feel ashamed of, of having this. They should be applauding us for being brave enough to stand up on our own two feet and say, hey, something's wrong, okay? On the outside, you guys may think my life is just picture perfect and rosy. You see me laughing, you see me smiling, you see me cutting up. But you don't see the pain. You don't see the pain when I'm alone. Or you don't see the pain when I when it's late at night and I can't sleep. You don't see the pain on those off days where I hide from the world. You know, and I've, I've gone through that within my, my own family where it's like, do you know so-and-so, you know, you know, was having, having uh, you know, an episode of depression. Mental health issues run deep in my family, and, and so do addictions and stuff on both sides of my family, especially on my father's, um, and uh, so does suicide. And this is a hard time of year for many, many people, including myself. And it really doesn't matter whether or not you have family around or don't have family around. Depression is depression. And, you know, this is um, a, a time of year where a lot of people think about suicide, commit suicide, and we lose a lot of people. So, if you know somebody who is depressed, be that friend. Be that friend that checks on them every day, even if maybe they don't really feel like talking that day. Even a simple, I'm here for you if you do want to talk, or I just wanted to say hi. Um, maybe, you know, really ask them, you know, straight out. You know, maybe they're not into the holiday. Maybe they don't want to talk about the holiday. Maybe they want to just talk about anything else. That's okay. You know, you don't have to talk about the holiday. Um, you know, maybe you don't celebrate holidays for a, a variety of different reasons, and that's all good. Um, but try to be there for, be that for your friend. Or just somebody you know that's alone. You know, if you know somebody who's generally alone, it's pretty safe to assume that they even feel lonelier during the holiday. Um... And if you're that person that's going through depression or finds yourself alone and finds yourself really suffering, reach out. And if that hand gets slapped away because you reached out, reach out to somebody else. But don't let yourself feel be shamed to being silent and, and sitting there alone and feeling like you're the only person going through it. And you're the only person lonely. And you're the only person that doesn't have family or doesn't have anybody for Christmas, you know, and, um, you know, uh, 
because you're not. There's a lot of us that don't don't have anywhere really that we do anything for Christmas, um, you know. And uh, there's a lot of us that aren't going to make you feel ashamed because you have a mental health issue. You'll never know until you speak out about it yourself that maybe even one of your closest friends suffers with mental health issues too, but they've just never said anything either. Um, you know, uh, I think it speaks volumes the more that we all talk about it. Um, I think it really helps us so much to know that we can network together and say, hey, you know what, I'm really struggling. Maybe it's Christmas Eve and I'm really struggling. You know, can we just, you know, if you um, have the time to, do you want to just kind of, you know, talk about anything else? You want to just go watch a non-funny Christmas movie? Or, I mean, a non-Christmas funny movie. You know. Um, like I said, don't be ashamed to be silent. Because... How many times do you hear somebody say, Oh, I wish I'd known they were depressed. You know, when somebody's committed suicide. Well, they probably didn't tell you because they were afraid they were going to be ashamed. We all know somebody who's in our family or a friend of ours who makes fun of and mocks people that have mental health issues, depression and stuff. They should snap out of it. It's not real. You know, uh, you know. And sometimes we catch ourselves going, well, why is that person depressed? Well, they just are. It's, you know, whether it's a chemical makeup or a trauma or something, they just are. You know. So, anyway, I just wanted to come on here real quick and say that and say, you know, there's no, no reason to be ashamed. And, you know, if I can help, if you guys need somebody to talk to and stuff, I will do my very best. So... Anyway, love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship. I cherish you as a person, and I think you're awesome, and I will talk to you later. Bye.